Right, in this video then we're going to look at uh, we're going to look at some of the ideas behind electrical energy and electrical power. Okay? Uh, we're also going to look at current again as well and we're going to look at some of the equations that we can use to describe uh, electrical energy, electrical power and electrical current. Okay? So before I start, I'm going to talk you through some of the terms we're going to use in this video. So we're going to use energy transferred and we're going to represent that with the letter E. Remember what energy is, is measured in? It's measured in a unit called joules given by a capital J. Power. We're going to look at power today. So power is just another way of saying energy transferred per second. That's usually measured in watts, okay, which we represent with a W. Potential difference, that's voltage or volts, V, we know that one. Current measured in amps, uh, represented by the letter I. Charge flow. We represent charge flow with the letter Q, okay, and Q charge flow is measured in, in a unit called coulombs, which we represent with a capital C. Time, of course, T, measured in seconds. Right. Firstly, then, let's have a look at uh, let's have a look at current. So remember what current actually is. Current is the the, the flow rate of charges. Yeah. So or or the or the uh, the charge per second. So we can represent this as as, as I current is equal to uh, the, the charge that flows through a certain part of your circuit per second i is q over t yeah you might see this re you might see this written as as charge uh, uh, charge flow is the same as the current times by time okay you might see it written like that this these two equations are the same they're just different different arrangements of them so that, that's, that's current then. So current is charge divided by time. That's one of our equations. Now a second equation I want to look at is, is one for potential difference. Now remember what potential difference is. Yeah, it's the push or the energy that you give to each of the charges. Yeah? So if you want to work out the total energy that you provide a circuit with, you just have to take the charge and you times it by the potential difference that you've supplied to your circuit. Okay, so there's another one. There's another equation. Energy transferred in a circuit is uh, is given. By, you just take the charge flow, okay, and you just multiply it by the potential difference. Remember, uh, voltage is just the amount of energy that you give to each of the charges. Yeah, E divided by Q. Rearrange that, and you get you get that. Okay. Right. Uh, finally, then. We're going to look at another equation. So electrical power then. What is power? So power, we know, is energy divided by time. Yeah? That's just the generic general formula for power. So if we wanted to write this in terms of electricity, we can take an energy, which we know is Q times V, Q times V, and we can divide that by the time. Yeah? Some of you more bright mathematicians might have noticed something about this equation. We've got Q over T in this equation. What does Q over T give? Q over T gives you current. Okay, So we can replace Q over T with a current. So we might end up with an equation like this. Power is equal to current times by voltage. There we are. P, times, P equals current times by voltage or potential difference. Power is I times V. There we go. So three equations, one for current, one for energy transferred to a circuit, and one for power, or electrical power. Right. I'll let you guys have a go at this question, these questions here. One of them does not involve using any of the equations that we've used today. One of them involves using an equation you've looked at in a different video. I'll see if you can figure out which one that is. I'll put the answers in the description below. Have a go at them. And I'll see you in the next video.